welcome back to Politics in Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. This segment is called From Washington, D.C. to Washington Place. Today, we'll be speaking with Neil Abercrombie, former city councilman, state representative, state senator, U.S. congressman, and the governor of Hawaii. Neil has played a big part in local politics. He had appointed Derek Kawakami to the State House of Representatives. Derek is now the mayor of Kauai. He appointed Brian Schatz to the U.S. Senate. He appointed Gil Kahele to the State Senate, who was succeeded by his son Kai Kahele, who is now in Congress. Today in Congress, it seems like it's not about what's right or wrong. It's about politics. Neil, please tell us about politics in Congress when you were there fighting for what is right for us and for the nation and how you see it now. Neil? Thank you very much, uh, Dennis. I appreciate it uh, very, very much, the opportunity to be with you and, uh, and all the folks uh, uh, associated with Think Tech. Um, you know, when you were reciting those, those various offices uh, that I held, uh, I was thinking back to the first time I was elected in 1974, and my mentor, uh, my, my guru, my, uh, the, the person that I look to for, for guidance in politics, uh, 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 of course, was named Kawakami. And uh, uh, that, that, the Kawakami family, uh, for me, then goes back generations in terms of politics. And, it, it, and, 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 and the Kawakami, Kawakami family uh, is a good example uh, of, of what the kind of politics that I first knew in Hawaii was all about. It was about service. It was about ideas. It was about carrying through on behalf of the, of, of, of the common good. And uh, uh, as, as a result, uh, the, the, the politics being played today is entirely different. Um, I was mentored, as I say, uh, by real giants of, 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 of the Democratic Party uh, that, that were there because they believed in something. Tony Kunimura from another uh, Kauai name. Uh, there's a little statue of him uh, over there in, 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 this, in the city complex, in the county complex uh, over in Lahui. Um, he, he taught me, uh, uh, he, he and others, John Ushijima from the Big Island, uh, Oh, I could go. I could go on. Do dozens and dozens. Nadal Yoshinaga, uh, the great guru of the of the of the state senate, first one to endorse me back in 1974. Those politics were were personal, uh, just like they are now. But they were personal on the basis of what could you contribute, what could you do, How, what did this holy boy from the mainland have to offer uh, Hawaii? Uh, the, the politics in those days. They weren't interested so much in, in what you looked like or what your name was, uh, 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 even where you came from, is what could you contribute to Hawaii? Were you, were you willing and, and able to submerge yourself in, 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 uh, in looking out for the kuleana of, 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 of Hawaii? Were you going to take responsibility? What kind of person were you? And uh, I remember if someone back in the 1970s, Dennis said, uh, Oh, uh, uh, who's Abercrombie? They say, oh, the, the Holly guy uh, over there. The, the Holly was 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 not an explanation; it was a description. It was me. They said, you know, which which one is uh, uh, Dennis Isaki and which one is Abercrombie from behind? Uh, they would say, oh, the Holly guy. That's that's that that's Abercrombie, and that they weren't that wasn't pejorative. They weren't making fun. They were not uh, 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 pointing fingers. What they were doing. Was, was simply differentiating on the basis, as I say, of a description, not an explanation. Today, uh, the politics uh, in today in Washington, when people ask me, do you miss being in Washington? No, I miss, I miss the people that were ready to legislate, non -pont not pontificate. So the, the politics today, uh, uh, including in, in, in Hawaii, I'm sorry to say, is more and more reflective of, uh, of uh, what's going on in Washington today, which is not politics, but uh, uh, in, in the sense of, of uh, people trying to see what they can do for the common good. It's people looking out for, for themselves and power. 
Yeah, um, and I, I mentioned some uh, appointees you had. I'm sure you had pressure to appoint others. You know, like oh yeah, you're a senator. Uh, can you say anything about that? Yeah, I can. I'm writing about it right now. As a matter <laughs> of fact, working on a, a political uh, memoir, not an autobiography, yeah. but a, a political biography. And of course, yeah, that was uh, the, the 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 particular one you're referring to is the appointment of uh, Brian Schatz uh, to to the U.S. Senate. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I suppose, yeah, Dennis, you you know me well. I mean, by full disclosure, you and I are yeah. are old friends, and and uh, and uh, I re I relied on you for my advice and counsel. <laughs> uh, maybe that's how I got in trouble. You know, I was listening uh, to yes. talking well, about you know, you're known better. Uh, we got us uh, arm wrestling. You, yeah, you right. Get the picture, yeah. <laughs> we put a picture up there. Arm, arm wrestling. We're sure you were winning, but. Uh, 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 the 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 point is at that you 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 be my witness on this. I never really got bothered by by pressure. I never really did. I always thought to myself, and I always said to people, "This is how I won the first place." I mean, come on, let's let's be straight here. How is this long haired, bearded, holy boy from from Manoa, this uh, radical guy, uh, ever going to get elected in Manoa Valley and uh, and and Mikiki, right? Uh, against uh, people like Hiram Fong Jr., uh, 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 Charlie Ushichima, you know, uh, uh, AJA Vice President of, of uh, First Hawaiian Bank, Bank of Hawaii. Uh, it, uh, it, it, those kind, of, those days. How is it going to happen? Well, uh, the, the people were willing to give you a chance. See, uh, in those days, they were, they, 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 they thought you might, you might have something to offer. You're willing to, to, to give you a chance. And so I always said to people, look, you may not agree with me uh, on, on every issue, but you're electing me to, to exercise the best judgment I can on behalf of what is, is the public good. That's what I'm going to do. You may not be with me on this issue, but if I think you're right about something and everybody else thinks you're wrong, you don't have to look twice to see whether I'm there. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. And so, you know, that meant a lot to people. You know, you know, maybe everybody's against Isaki, but if I think he's on the right track, Dennis, you believe me when I said I'd be with you, right? Yeah. 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 And so I think what happened, Dennis, uh, uh, is, is that pressure never bothered me because I always thought, I told people that I was going to do the best job I could. If, if they don't like it, they can, they can vote for somebody else. And of course, on occasion, they did. But mostly they didn't. I was in 36 elections uh, over all that time that you mentioned. 36 elections. That did pretty good. I don't, pr pressure doesn't, uh, uh, the pressure on me is if I did what I thought was the wrong thing. Yeah, I remember a long time ago, it was a Democratic convention in, at the Sheraton Waikiki, I think. You know, you gave a, a great speech just as Obama did when, when he, got started before he was president. Mm -hmm. uh, did that lead to you thinking about becoming governor? Oh, no, you know, uh, no, no, that had not, that, I was just happy for Obama because uh, I'd known uh, for President Obama because I knew his father and mother. I'm probably oh, yeah. one of the few people, there's a couple of us left. Yeah. Uh, my friend Andy Zane, Pake Zane uh, from Antiques Alley, he's, <laughs> he's down there on Queen Street right now in a while, you want to go down and and uh, and check out the the history of of Hawaii through antiques. Uh, he can do it for you. We, he and I, I think, uh, are among the only people left who actually knew uh, President Obama's father and his mother uh, at the University of Hawaii way back in 1960. So uh, when he was elected a senator and came out uh, to Hawaii because he came out for Christmas, of course. Uh, every time to see his uh, his grandmother, um, who helped raise him, uh, uh, we had a big uh, 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 greeting at the uh, and, a, and he gave a speech at the at the Sheraton uh, Waikiki at the Tapa Ballroom and uh, and hundreds of uh, people from Hawaii showed up because we, we I, I introduced him by saying we got a third senator now you know and Barack Obama so uh, uh, we. Uh, I, I feel rather uh, very, very strongly that uh, um, uh, his presence there as, as speaking as the senator, uh, and you could tell 
that he could he could be president. It never had anything to do with me running for governor. I never thought I was going to run for governor. Uh, I, 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 I did, uh, by in 2010, when I left Congress, I was thinking about retiring from uh, from Col Congress and not necessarily retiring from politics, but certainly retiring from Congress. And then the the the, the governorship uh, came open, and uh, uh, Dennis, you among other people, said to me, you know. I remember my my uh, my my friends saying to me the, the the governorship the path to the governorship goes through you Neil and I had never even thought of that Dennis never never occurred to me and they said no no we we think that you've got the credibility and and uh, this might uh, this be something you should think about so I never regardless of my relationship with uh, President Obama uh, I did not uh, he speak to him about running for governor or or think about running for governor because of my relationship with him. Uh, going back to your time as governor, in the first campaign, you mentioned uh, you had young blood in your campaign, not necessarily the old political machine. You had Bill yeah. Kaneko, Andrew yeah. Aoki, Laurie Al. Yeah. It was surprised, you know, you see all these young people, you know, that uh, thinking, you know. When yes, I we could said about a new, new day in Hawaii, a lot of it we were able to accomplish, uh, some we were not able to. Uh, uh, I wish I could have brought the legislature along a little bit better. Uh, some of the things that we were for, Dennis, then, now, now it's coming forward. Uh, the preschool for kids, uh, uh, I appointed William Isla, you know, a, a land uh, a department. Uh, we, we had a program called uh, The Rain Follows the Forest, where we have to, to preserve our, our, uh, our, our uh, uh, lands and pres preserve our forests and and uh, climate change. We could see climate change coming. So a lot of things that that we were were were, were pitching. Maybe uh, not everybody could see it at the time, but it's it's uh, it's all coming to fruition now. And you know we have uh, people like Amy Agbayani who wouldn't let you forget. You know. Oh no. She's retired now from the university, yeah. but uh, matter of fact, I, I met my wife through Amy Agbiani because my wife went into the, the program for women. Uh, not everybody may know who we're speaking of. Uh, Dr. Amy Agbiani from the University of Hawaii. Uh, she she was instrumental in bringing in uh, uh, those who are underrepresented in the uh, in, in the student body uh, at the University of Hawaii, particularly Filipino kids. But uh, and women, and uh, and the underserved, uh, uh, in terms of thinking they could go to college, uh, Dr. Agbayani was instrumental in getting them there. My wife joined the program uh, uh, as a result of her uh, becoming acquainted with Dr. Agbayani, and uh, I met her through through uh, Amy. As a matter of fact, Dr. Agbayani introduced us. So uh, she, I always tell my wife that Amy was to blame. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I know. Going back to Congress, you helped us uh, from Kauai and other neighbor islands. Yes. When, when we went to Congress, uh, although you voted in Congressional District One, which is Honolulu, I remember your hospitality and uh, sincereness uh, in meeting with us, discussing uh, issues. Well, you know that. That's because we had a partnership. You know, I was very, very fortunate, Dennis. Uh, I had the not only the pleasure but the honor and and and, and the privilege of serving with Patsy Mink uh, in Congress. And of course, she represented uh, the neighbor islands and 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 when we're to Oahu. But uh, we all saw us, uh, our role as working together. Um, I I I miss her every day when I I sit down in my in my den, in my, my room uh, at my house, the picture right across from me is a picture of Patsy and, and myself. Um, I think of her every day. Uh, and she's, it's probably a good example of you saying, well, what's the difference in politics today uh, in Washington? Today, there's, there's no camaraderie. There's no, there's no ability to, to, to work together to get things done. I worked with Republicans all, all, all my life in the, in the state legislature, in the city council, David Kahano. Was a Republican in the city council. Wads he, uh, Buddy Suarez, uh, Andy Anderson, Mary George. I could name uh, Pat Psyche. 
I could name a dozen of, of Republicans that we, we worked together. We didn't always agree on uh, Scotchy Henderson. Jesus, uh, Scotchy was just great. Uh, we didn't necessarily agree on all the issues, but what, what the issue we did agree on is what's best for Hawaii. And we did, the, we did our best to try and think what was best for Hawaii. In the Congress, don't forget, there's 435 people there, Dennis. We represent uh, uh, almost 350 million uh, people. Um, uh, we're there uh, uh, trying to get 217 other people to agree with us. The, the, they just uh, on the television, I just saw that, that uh, the, the House agreed to have a commission on, uh, uh, to investigate the, the insurrection on January 6th. Um, you, you have to get, uh, uh, you have to recognize it's not just you. You just don't get to go there and say, hey, uh, I'm Dennis Sasaki. I, I, I know everything. All you guys got to do is raise your hand when I give the signal. It doesn't work that way. People vote for their reasons. They got their constituents they have to deal with and so on. So my job when I went to, to Congress is try and get 217 other people, not to think like I did, but to think that what I'm suggesting that they do is in their interest, in their people's interest as well. But you can't do that now. You can't do that. No, it's, hey, it's strictly a power game. We got the votes, uh, uh, everybody line up, uh, and uh, we could care less what you think. It's, it's not collegiate. You shouldn't go run for it. You got people who are running for Congress by running against Congress. We never did that. Our delegation didn't do that. Uh, Anoy and Akaka, Abercrombie and, and, uh, and Mink, uh, which was the majority of the time, that I was there, um, we operated as a team for Hawaii. And of course, you mentioned uh, Senator Inouye. He was uh, he was a great guy, you know, for uh, yeah, well, Hawaii he, and the nation. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and you mentioned about uh, appointing Senator Schatz. That's one of the reasons I appointed Senator Schatz is that uh, 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 not everybody knows that when I appointed uh, Brian uh, to the Senate, he was the same age that Dan Inouye was when he went into the Senate. And that was part of my reasoning for appointing Brian was I wanted somebody who's capable, uh, somebody who had the experience, uh, someone who, who had the, uh, the personality and the character, uh, and more particularly, someone who would fit into the Senate in a way that would allow him or her to uh, 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 operate in the Senate, because that Relationships are everything. It's a relationship that's yes. important, but particularly in the Senate and the political context of the of the Senate. Let's face it: there's only a hundred senators there, two senators from from every state, large or small. And uh, Brian is the ideal has the ideal personality and character. There, everybody likes him. Everybody likes him there, and he and and everybody trusts him. Uh, and, and I knew they would, and uh, and so. Uh, if I if I had to zero in, I guess on one decision I made my whole political life, where I had the authority <laughs> and the capacity to make a decision, um, I'm confident that that decision. Yeah, that decision wasn't easy to make. Because for the very reasons that I'm I'm saying to you, I'm I was looking in the long run for Hawaii and for for the for the country. I knew he would. I, I was confident that he. I shouldn't say I knew. I was confident that that Brian would not only fit into the Senate, but that he could work in the Senate in a way that would not just benefit Hawaii, but benefit the country. I was confident about that. So it, 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 I think it's the most important decision, probably one of the most important decisions, if not the most important one that I ever made, but I, I, it was never easier. I was totally confident in that decision. I, I, never, I, had, I never had to think twice about it, not a nanosecond about it. Okay, now, now you got you know different positions. You can uh, make your Positions down. I've seen you working on chi Chinatown issues and. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, what I've been doing now uh, since I left the governorship, I, I don't. Uh, I try not to comment too much uh, publicly. I think you have to in Chinatown uh, permanent rentals for low income folks. I'm happy to say, and I'm looking for other opportunities like that in Chinatown. I have. A, I'm, I'm talking to you from a little office that I have here in, in Chinatown. I, I, I I've always liked Chinatown. My first impression of Hawaii when I left the airport out at, uh, at the John Rogers Terminal back in 1959, yeah. when I, I, I came in down King Street, 
And I remember my first impression of, of Hawaiian people. I saw this tremendous shock of white hair, bronze, upright, uh, strong looking uh, man, Hawaiian man. I thought, wow, that's, that's what Hawaii is. So yeah. I'm in Chinatown. Chinatown was one of my first loves. I, uh, when I came from the University of Hawaii, I'd walk down to, to Chinatown every weekend, go to see the samurai movies eat at Tin Tin or Wolf yeah, Fats. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I love, I love being in Chinatown. So I'm, I'm here now yeah, yeah. doing what I can to help. Can I get your comments on rail? And would you think is, is politics involved in the rail? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, the, 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 the rail has, has been totally uh, out of control for, uh, you know, there's plenty of blame to go around. I think the, uh, the uh, right now, I, it really it doesn't matter much whether you were for mass transit or against. This started the rail. It didn't start off as the rail fence. That's the main thing. It wasn't going to be a rail, steel on steel. Quite the opposite. It was, it was supposed to be a guideway. I I know what I'm talking about because um, I was a, a, a member of the of a community council at the time and, and the city. And, and and I remember talking to Frank Fossey about it uh, all the way through from the beginning. So right now, whether you're for uh, transit of one kind or another or against it, it, it really doesn't matter because uh, it, it, we're at the stage we're at right now and it's gotta be funded and, uh, and because it's, it's run away. We can't get the federal funding anymore. Uh, we can't get the federal match, even if we could. My history with not just rail, but mass transit, rapid transit and so on goes all the way back to Frank Fox. My point really now, uh, Dennis, is is there's no sense looking for villains at this stage um, because they're they're all around and uh, most everybody knows who they are and what it was all about. But uh, the point is we're where we are right now. Can't go back. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're for it or against it. What are we going to do now is the question. That's the question Mayor Rick is facing and the city council over here in Oahu uh, is facing. I think they have to have an alternative funding system. Whether they stop it uh, at uh, short of, of Almohana, whether they go on into Waikiki or up to the University of Hawaii, uh, like the University of Hawaii is going to have their football games up there now for the foreseeable future. Um, it would it, the original idea was to run it up to UH Manoa and into Waikiki, so it was much longer than than what they're talking about now at, at uh, Almohana. But no matter what decision is made by the mayor and the council, um, uh, it's got to be paid for. And uh, nobody wants to raise property taxes. It's going to cost a lot of money. There are at least $3 billion in shortfall now. They have to have an alternative funding system. I've made some suggestions to, uh, to the mayor and the council and the congressional delegation as to what the, that alternative financing could be. I don't want to go into it further because it's, it's being discussed. Uh, right now, but uh, uh, I'm against raising property taxes for uh, for rail. We've we, you know the, we've gone as far as we can go. The legislature has gone as far as it can go, and I don't think the congressional delegation can convince those 217 other people or 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 or, or, or 50 other senators uh, that uh, that they should throw more money at Honolulu to to uh, build this rail system when they can't even uh, get cars with wheels that fit on the tracks or they haven't even got right. their contract. Yeah, you, 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 con you know about contracting, Dennis. I mean, they, they can't even figure out where the water lines are on them as highway. So, I mean, you, you, it's, it's Im impossible to think about funding it uh, other than some other way. We're, you know, where we are in this situation uh, and Politicians weigh in, but like you said, we're you know too far into it. A few weeks ago, I was on a Zoom call with Senator Schatz, and I someone mentioned the rail, so I threw in. Uh, wonder where we're going to get the money for it. And Senator jokingly said, uh, uh, "We have a bad connection." So anyway, we got the. One minute left. Um, so we'll thank everybody for listening to Bill Abercrombie. And any closing comments? As we look to 2022 is, is the next election, we have to go all out to try and save our democracy. This is the first time in history when you actually have 
people running for office that are trying to overthrow the the, the government as, as as we know it. And uh, I think that the uh, re recovery plan, as, as well as the relief plan of President Biden, is is a way through this uh, uh, problem uh, uh, for us. And uh, hopefully, uh, with the Attorney General in the state of New York, as well as the uh, uh, federal attorney uh, in New York uh, working on, a, on, on the former president's uh, tax case, uh, we may get to move him out of the way uh, as a factor in, in politics uh, uh, to try and destroy our, our democratic tradition. So I think here in Hawaii, uh, the next big thing will be the election of the, of the mayor of this, uh, not the mayor, excuse me, the governor's election next year, Dennis. It'll be very interesting to see how that works out. That's coming up right up on, on us. Hopefully the pandemic will be over sufficiently to allow us to have in-person political activity yeah. again. Because nobody wants to do it like, like we're doing it right now over this Zoom with the freezing and going in and out and all the rest of it. People want to get together as uh, human beings. They want to get together and, and uh, press the flesh and uh, and see each other eye to eye yeah. and make decisions about Hawaii and its future. Yeah, I know you enjoyed it. We uh, enjoyed the time with you. Enjoyed thank your you. wis enjoyed your wisdom and your experience. Uh, thank you. Thanks to everybody. The Thanks to everybody who gave me a chance. I hope uh, I hope you know I always did my best. And uh, 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 whatever I have been able to achieve is only because of, of great people like Dennis and everyone else uh, who always had Hawaii's interest as their interest. Thank, thank you, uh, Governor. Um, I'd like to thank the listeners and thank you for joining Think Tech Hawaii. See you again Aloha. in two weeks. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs>